for you. Evidence is leaning toward plenty. Thank you. Going well, I hope? What's been going on? Not much. The usual. Nice of you to ask. See you later. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Cune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. I hate politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss. She looked through me from the garden. Of course. One for the Empress, for Gaspar, Brianna, the Duchess, and Chrysippus, right in the dangle bag. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry, you're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A skinny elven puppet arse at that. Wonder how long before she forgets her poor elves. Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things, with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. That, and Briala being an idiot, the whole thing would have gone different if that little piss-up wasn't in the middle. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. I didn't understand the Grand Ball. It would have been easier if they said what they wanted. What did you think of the masks? What masks? The masks. Everyone had them on their faces. Those weren't their faces. How would you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun? I don't know. I've never tried. Come on. Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. Will you be dining alone, your worship, or will others be arriving later? I may have a friend joining me. Very good, your worship. Right this way, please. Please enjoy your meal this evening, your worship. You can tell her. She'll laugh and then do it because she loves you. She wants to make you happy. Anything you'd like to share? He wants his wife to tie his hands to the bedposts. Little silk ribbons. He worries she'll hate him. She only said it because she was jealous of your shoes. Remember his hand on your waist as the music swelled. So many little hurts, even here, away from blood and battle. I wouldn't have heard them before. Now I can, thanks to you. So you help them with a few whispered words? 
the right words. Plus what I am, a little of me making the happiness stronger so the pain fades. I don't steal the pain. The nightmare demon at Adamant did that. It made them less so it could grow. I help them heal. They never need to know I was here. You've made me better. It was my pleasure. Remember old Maurice, too proud to forgive, gnarled hands clutching the back of an empty chair? Find another path. There was someone, before. He was my friend, but he didn't know what I was. When he found out, he changed. I lost him. You found out, but you didn't change. Didn't make me change. You let me be this, be more. Thank you for helping me find this again. For believing in me. You don't know what it means. I have an inkling, and you're welcome. You don't need to. It used to help, but it doesn't anymore. Let it go. You were scared, trying to show them you were strong. Find him. Tell him you're sorry. The woman in the red dress thinks you would look good naked. She wants someone to compliment her hat. They will never know, but I know, thanks to you. She's still behind the curtains in the reading room, watching the blood pool on the floor. <laughs> 